Hi, you guys. I just wanted to talk with you for a second about the Keeping It Real project. I've gotten some um, emails and calls about it. So basically, what you're going to do is you're going to pick one of the units. I really recommend you picking a unit um, that's sort of beefy enough. By that, I mean the first unit, the Russell article, probably isn't the best. And that third unit on um, personal identity might not be the best either, only because the articles for that uh, week are somewhat lacking in substance. You nearly, really need to be able to say something. And I'm not sure there's a whole lot to say in substance about either of those two weeks, at least not that goes beyond what we did in class. So your assignment needs to go beyond what we did in class. It needs to go beyond information you shared in the before you read questions and beyond the information that you shared in the after you read questions. So the idea is to connect one of the units to the real world. So you don't necessarily have to use every single article in the units. For example, if you do the identity and responsibility unit and you just want to talk about the Camus or you just want to talk about the SART, that's okay. Or if you do um, the identity and gender and you just want to talk about the BART key or you just want to talk about the um, de Beauvoir, that's okay. So you don't necessarily have to talk about all of the articles from the unit. But you do want to connect w at least one of the articles specifically to something outside of what we did. So for example, the movie The Matrix. You shouldn't do this because I'm using this as an example, but you could pick a movie like The Matrix and talk about specific ways in which that movie connects, portrays, conveys, um, relates to um, specific parts of one of the articles. You can then write this up in a paper. You can create some sort of PowerPoint or Prezi, whatever it's called, presentation, or this Boomtown thing is a fun thing. Um, being creative, I always hate when people say, be creative, but be creative. Um, make it real. So I don't, I don't want bullshit. I don't want you just to like check this off your list and be like, okay, I did it. Here's my PowerPoint. Like it's a real thing. It's, it's a hundred points. That's a significant part, part of your grade. And it's your real opportunity to show me that you have integrated this class really into your life. Um, so I'm looking for something real. I'm not just looking for, uh, you know, a quick, here it is, I did it thing. If you um, want to talk about one of the units that are that's coming up um, and to see whether or not... Um, that might be a good choice for you. Call me or email me or come by my office hours. And then in terms of the proposal, it's it's there so that um, I can be as sure as I can be and you can be as sure as you can be that the project you are going to do is going to be able to earn you the points that you're hoping to earn. So the more you can tell me about what you have in mind, um, the better I can say, yes, that sounds like something that could conceivably earn 100 points. Or I say, you know what, I'm not sure that sounds like it's really beefy enough. Let's try this, that, or the other thing. So it's informal in the sense that you don't have to... Um, um, really do anything but check in and tell me I'm going to do this article from this unit or these articles from this unit. I plan on presenting it in this way and I plan on connecting it to XYZ. Um, if you can give me at least that, that's a good start. The more you can give me, the better. And I'm happy to have a conversation um, over and over again as you develop your project. So that's what I have to say. Um, feel free to call me or email me as many of you have. Um, I know it sounds silly to say it, but I hope you have fun with the project. Um, 
You could think about connecting it to a movie, connecting it to a book, connecting it to something in current events, um, connecting it to something in your life, but you must show the actual way in which the philosophical content of at least one of the articles directly connects to something in the real world. I hope this helps. Um, get in touch. Talk to you soon. Bye.